At what point does it become acceptable for a student to date a teacher? For years, the topic has fascinated filmmakers and viewers alike. Here are 10 on-screen student-teacher liaisons that cross the line from cute to questionable. At number 1. A teacher. Beautiful and quietly enigmatic Claire Wilson is the newest teacher at Westbrook Suburban Texas High School. Claire is dissatisfied in her marriage to her college sweetheart Matt Mitchell, distant from her brother and desperate for connection. She quickly befriends fellow teacher Catherine. Claire's life changes when Eric Walker, a charming all-American senior in her English class asks for her help in preparing for his SAT test. At number 2. Wet Season. The plot revolves around Ling, a schoolteacher who struggles with infertility while caring for her infirm father-in-law at home. Weilun, one of Ling's classmates, develops a crush on her during remedial Chinese lessons, and the two grow closer as Ling enjoys extra tutoring. A rare, self-affirming relationship develops between a teacher and a student at a Singapore high school. At number 3. Before the Dawn. The tale of a forbidden passion between Lila Kendi, a high school teacher, and her student, Jason Walker. Lila, who recently divorced, relocated to a new town to begin a new life as a high school teacher. Jason, a handsome bad boy student, is also new to the school and is there to help him out of a bad situation. A young high school teacher battles with giving in to her impulses and doing the right thing after an experience with a troubled student crosses the line. At number 4. Filthy. Lena is 17 years old and on the verge of achieving adulthood when she is brutally interrupted by a traumatic incident. Her first love's secret midnight trips and magical mornings at the river in Bratislava are ruined when she is physically assaulted by her math teacher. She withdraws into her shell, unable to discuss her ordeal with others. A path that is more than just coming of age, but a battle for herself, others underestimate her and can never really comprehend her. At number 5. A minute's silence. Summer's end, a sleepy fishing port on the Baltic Sea, and the start of a wonderful feeling that shouldn't be, Christian, 18, falls in love with his new English tutor, Stella Peterson, just before the start of the new school year. Stella and Christian experience a mutual longing and attraction for each other in a moment of sudden lightness and liberation, far away from the small village, in the dune and seascape, the depth of which all overwhelms them. The young teacher's intimate friendship with her student threatens to become a scandal. Though Stella continues to elude Christian, he is already planning a future for her. When Stella was involved in a sailing wreck, Christian's life came crashing down around him. At number 6. The Commune. An amusing and moving story about a family's conflict between personal desires, unity, and empathy set in a freewheeling Danish commune in the 1970s. When Anna and Eric inherit a large home, they assemble a motley crew of housemates to enliven their lives, pushing them to reconcile their current ideals with old habits. At number 7. Beyond the Mountains and Hills. Returning to civilian life after serving in the army for 27 years isn't as easy as David had thought. It's difficult for him to re-establish regular interaction with his family, with the scale of his home, and, most importantly, with modern Israel, an ultra-competitive culture obsessed with success. As a result, the chance to work with a corporation that manufactures nutritional supplements seems to be a viable option that can be pursued without delay. At number 8. The English Teacher. Linda Sinclair, a 40-year-old unmarried high school English teacher in Kingston, is single. Aside from the relationships she has with her favorite writers and novels, she has no close personal relationships with anyone. Her life is much less complex than those shown in the dramas. She devours the page and enjoys it that way, but Linda's easy life takes an abrupt turn as former star student, Jason Sherwood, returns home to Kingston after attempting to make it as a playwright in New York. At number 9. For Miriam. Karen, a math teacher, is involved in a tragic traffic accident for which she is not at fault. A girl on a scooter is killed in the crash. Despite her innocence, the young woman is distraught, particularly when she learns that the dead girl Miriam is none other than her pupil, Lucas's sister. In an attempt to atone for her action, she starts to give Lucas extra math lessons. Still, overwhelmed by his anguish, the boy desires even more from her. At number 10. Elegy. David Kapesh, a renowned professor, 
has little to no interest in monogamy and likes to engage in lustful flings with women. When he encounters Consuela Castillo, a student in her 20s, he is deeply drawn to her. Despite the fact that his trusted friend George O'Hearn advises him not to get too close to the much younger Consuela, David starts to suspect that his relationship with the student might become serious. While waiting, check out this other recent video, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.